Hello everyone, welcome to my tapping channel. Today we're going to be talking about the resistance to being who you know yourself to be. When you've hit that ceiling and you just feel you can't go past it, you just can't allow yourself to fully be the person that you know yourself to be or feel that you want to be, you just can't do it. There's no way that it can happen. We're going to talk about that and do some tapping to help you push through that ceiling. Before we do though, I'm Sandra Inman. I'm the author of Tapping Into Abundance using EFT tapping and the law of attraction to change your mindset and turn your life around. And if you want to do just that, hit the subscribe button and the notification bell so that you don't miss any videos. If you want to work one-on-one -on -one with me, I offer a free half hour clarity session to help get you clear about where your blocks are, your mindset blocks are that are stopping you from truly stepping into who you truly are. And then after that half hour, you get more clarity about where you're stuck and then we can discuss how we can work together after that. You can also watch my free video called How to Heal Your Shadow Through Balancing Your Energy Centers, which is a free video about the chakra system and shadow work. and that is basically changing your mindset and the beliefs that you have at each chakra level that are stopping you from, again, truly living the life that you want to live. And that video masterclass is free and it's in the description field below this video. When it comes to feeling into who you truly are, you, you probably already have an image of who you'd like to be. And you may be seeing this image as who you'd like to be but it's actually who you are. It's the real you behind all of the beliefs that you have about yourself. Your subconscious mind will believe everything that it's being told about who you are if you don't change those beliefs. You acquire those beliefs way back in your childhood and they've most likely been reinforced throughout adulthood. So to really be that person that you want to be, which is probably just a more confident version of you who is doing the things you want to be doing with your life and being the person you want to be in your life. Being that person can be a real uphill battle because there's a lot of beliefs that are telling you it's actually not safe to be that person. The beliefs may be around guilt for being a person like that. There may be shame around who you are. You may be afraid of what your relatives and friends will think of you if you become that person. You may just simply be afraid of being that person yourself. And that's when you hit a ceiling. So you're doing self-development work, you're going along, and then you hit this wall. And it's like no matter what you do, you can't move through this wall. And this is where you can understand that there's a barrier here, there's a block here. And to know what that block is, just try to feel into being that person or seeing yourself living your life as that person. Take notice of how you experience that. Are you seeing the perfect you or the, the you you want to be as a third person, like you're watching a movie and they're there? You're looking at yourself as if you're watching a movie. Or are you able to be in the movie as that self and you're looking at the world through the eyes of that person? Because there's a difference. If you're still seeing the perfect you outside of yourself as if you're watching a movie, you're still disassociating with that part of you. You're not really connecting to that as your experience and that's why you're not there yet it's like there's a invisible barrier between you and the you on that screen where you want to get is that you're in the movie itself which is your life the way you want it to be and you're seeing the world through the eyes of yourself doing those things and being that person and if you practice that, you may find there's a bit of discomfort with it and you may also struggle to stay in that state of being associated with that version of yourself. 
you may find that perhaps you can look around you and see the things around you but you're sort of still jumping out of yourself and seeing yourself again being projected into the scene as if you're watching a movie of yourself in the scene and so you're sort of oscillating between still disassociating with being that person and trying to feel into being that person because to truly become the you that you want to be which is the you you actually know you deep down inside you are to allow yourself to become that you you have to be experiencing the world as that person and that's a difficult thing it means you have to break through all of those beliefs that are telling you why you can't experience the world as that person all kinds of beliefs not good enough not social enough not or maybe you're too social uh, not this not that to this to that there's a lot of negative beliefs there and each one of those are going to be slightly different to each other and each one of those have to be dealt with so that you really fully can step into that person and be that person in your daily life so that you can start attracting those things to you that you're wanting to attract. To be the person that has the lifestyle you truly want means you have to become that person, literally become that person, which means you're not the person that you are not having those things. It's a real mindset shift. The magic is within us. And when we can take responsibility for the way we think, we take responsibility for the way we feel, we take responsibility for our life. And that puts us in a true empowered uh, position, truly, truly empowered. So we're going to do some tapping now to help you start to feel into what it's like to step into that version of yourself that you're wanting to experience life through and tapping through that discomfort of doing so. So we're going to go straight to tapping on the points, no karate chop point, just going straight to the points. There I am. I still see myself as someone else. Wanting to be that person. But I just can't seem to get there. It's like an invisible wall. Between that version of myself. And who I am now. When I look at that version of myself. A part of me says, that could never be me. I can never really be that person. I just don't know how. I can be that person. They're so confident. So empowered. So connected. Well liked. Well loved. I 
I just don't know how. To feel into being that person. I try. To be in that scene. In my perfect home. Doing what I love doing. Being with people I want to be with. Feeling the confidence. Doing what confident people do. Feeling the love. Feeling empowered. Feeling connected. It all feels strange. Like it's not me. I could never be like that. I can dream about it. I can watch that me. But it's hard to step into that me. What would people say? They wouldn't know me. I can't just change. It all feels too hard. So hard. But what if every day I just do a little bit three minutes a day of stepping into that version of myself and seeing and experiencing the world as they would. even if it's uncomfortable. Seeing myself there like I'm watching a movie I can see myself in that place doing what I want to be doing
being with the people I want to be with. And now it's time to step into that character. See the world through their eyes. Listening to the sounds around me in that perfect place. Smelling the smells like the sea air or the country, wooded forests. Feeling the ground under my feet. And noticing what it feels like. Even if it's uncomfortable. Even if it scares me. It's okay. That's just my nervous system. Reacting to change. Wanting to hold on to the old me. Because that's all it knows. Taking a deep breath and letting it out. So every day, even if it's only for three minutes a day, Flash that image of you up as if you are watching a movie and you're seeing yourself there in the perfect place. Could be the perfect house, the perfect landscape, location with the people you want to be with, with doing what you want to be doing. And then go and step into the movie and be that character. Tap as you're doing it on any discomfort that you may be feeling. Allow yourself to tap doing the whole exercise because the tapping will help the nervous system switch over to being familiar, being more comfortable with a person who is more, with you, I should say, becoming that person who is more confident, who is feeling loved, who is feeling more empowered. We're addicted to our negativity, literally. Chemicals running through our nervous system, we, we become addicted to them. And the only way that we can change this addiction is to change the chemistry and become pretty much addicted to the positive aspects of ourselves and having more positive chemicals running through our nervous system rather than the old ones. So it takes work. It is going to be uncomfortable. Tapping through it will make it become more comfortable and it will also help you transition into that version of yourself a lot faster than if you're just doing it through your imagination. If you tap while you're doing the exercise of seeing yourself and then jumping into that version of yourself and tap through it and have a, a bit of a commentary while you're tapping on what it is you are experiencing and feeling, it's going to help your subconscious mind connect more with that image and it's also going to help settle your nervous system down so that you're going to be able to embrace that new version of yourself so much easier uh, from a, a chemical perspective. So do try that tapping. Do it for at least three minutes every day. You could do it twice a day uh, or as many times a day as you want to do it because what you're trying to do is reinforce the version of yourself that you want to be and 
get away from the version of yourself that you don't want to be. That version of yourself you want to be is actually you. And even if you don't believe that right now, you think, oh, it's just a projection that I have of something I, I want to be, but I could never be. That is actually you. You wouldn't have that desire to be like that if it wasn't already in you, if it wasn't already there. So it is there. You just got to remove the blocks that are actually stopping you from being that person. It's like peeling an onion and getting to the core or polishing a mirror or getting rid of all the dirt in the mirror so that you can actually then see yourself more clearly. If you want to work one-on-one -on -one with me to help you do just that, to reach your potential, to really step into the real you, there's a link in the description field for how you can book a free 30-minute clarity session. If you do want to do some DIY work with yourself, so if you're looking for an online course to help you clear your, your shadow work, to help you clear all of those mindset beliefs that you have about yourself at each chakra level, I do have a course called The Wheels of Empowerment. That is a four-month course that goes from root chakra all the way up to the crown chakra, releasing a lot of beliefs or the most common beliefs at each chakra level that are stopping you from stepping into who you are. So you can have a look at that course. There's a link in the description field below this video. If you like the video, hit the like button, share it with your friends. Don't forget to subscribe. I am Sandra and I'll see you on the next video.